Today, I'm at MCR Nagar. Well, not for the sapad at the famous Kalyana Mandapam here, but to check out this place called Kokum, which offers exotic Mangalorean and Goan delicacies. Come along, let's go check it out. At Kokum, with its very Kerala style interiors, you can feast on fiery dishes of chettinad, alluring coconut flavored fare of Kerala, and tongue twisting delicacies from Goa and Mango. I'm here sipping on some kokum sharbat to beat the heat while my banana dosas are getting ready. Kokum is actually from the tamarind family and this drink right here is made with artificially flavored kokum syrup and uh, soda and tastes quite tangy and refreshing. Must try it out. So at Kokum we serve recipes from these regions like I told you Goa, Mangalore and the coastal Kerala and we go to the houses, small homes of, of this region, get recipes, learn them and replicate them or recreate them with the authentic, authentic ingredients and the way they cook at their place. Vegetarians can try this Walapu Vade from the Chetinad kitchen, but what's really tempting for a Mangalorean like me is this uh, rava fried kane. Nice and crispy, it reminds me of the fish mom makes at home. The chicken here is the chicken ghee roast, originally invented by the chefs at the Shetty Lunch House in Kundapur. It's cooked in uh, Bedigay chili paste and wow, it's quite spicy. Uh, the Bedigay chilies are grown especially in the Karnataka region. I'm really happy that there's a little bit of ghee in here, it's bringing down the spice level, but I kind of love it. Da, 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 dinna, da, 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 dinna, da. The very mention of the word Vindalu reminds me of Goan weddings and all the fun and frolic. Vindalu actually means vinegar and garlic. And right here in front of me, I have the mutton Vindalu and teamed up with these senas here, which are sweeter versions of the idlis that you generally find. It's a, quite a mouth watering combination. I wouldn't be doing justice to Kokum if I didn't tell you about their neer dosa. Nice and thin, made with rice flour, I can literally eat a million of these. Team it up with some nice kori gari here and I assure you, you'll keep coming back for more. You can also try the appam with chicken stew, the melaga koli chetinad or the bindi mapas while you're here to get a real feel of southern coastal cuisine. This very jelly-like looking dessert here is the bibinka. I understand that making the bibinka is a very time-consuming process and hence it's made only on special occasions like Christmas and New Year. Well, I've had my fill for the day. But those of you who would like to join us on Feeding Frenzy next week, just answer this simple question. Which is the least nutritious vegetable when eaten raw? Is it A, cucumber, B, tomato, or C, spinach? 
Send in your answers to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com with your contact details. See you next week.